Hola and welcome to today's Pro Spanish lesson. As always, suitable for both beginners, complete beginners, and more advanced subscribers. So, if we want to talk about what's left, for example, there's some milk left, or there's money left, or what's not left, we use the word queda. Queda. So, queda is what's left. It's left. Uh, it comes from the word quedar, which is to remain. So they talk about things remaining um, when we talk about things being left, left over. So if we would like to say there's water left, there's water left, we would say queda agua. Queda agua. So a bit like there remains water. Queda agua means there's water left. Uh, in English, we might say there's some water left. There's some water left. And in Spanish, they don't tend to use that some. So they would just say there's water left. Queda agua. Queda agua. You might know Coca-Cola. Coke. So how would you say there's Coke left? There's some Coke left. What would that be? Queda Coca-Cola. Queda Coca-Cola. And you could even add Queda Coca-Cola en la nevera. There's Coke left in the fridge. So queda to have left. If we want to say there's not something left, if we want to make a negative, we just put no at the beginning. No. N-O. No. So how would you say there's no coke left? What would that be? There's no coke left. No queda Coca-Cola. No queda Coca-Cola. There's no coke left. How would you say there's no water left? No queda agua. No Queda agua. The word in Spanish for a lot is easy to remember. It's mucho. Mucho. How do you think you would say there's not much left? There's not much left. What do you think that would be? No queda mucho. No queda mucho. There's not much left. No queda mucho. How would you say there is a lot left? Make that a positive. There's a lot left. What would that be? Queda mucho. Queda mucho. Many of you will know that the word for wine in Spanish, wine, is vino. Vino. V-I-N-O. Vino. Vino is wine. How would you say there's not much wine left? There's not much wine left. What would that be? No queda mucho vino. No queda mucho vino. How would you say there is a lot of wine left? There's much wine left. What would that be? Queda mucho vino. Queda mucho vino. And let's make a really nice long sentence. How would you say there's Coke left, but there isn't much wine left? There's Coke left, but there isn't much wine left. And the word for but is pero, pero, P-E-R-O, pero. So again, how would you say there's Coke left, but there isn't much wine left? What would that be? Queda Coca-Cola, pero no queda mucho vino. Queda Coca-Cola, pero no queda mucho vino. So, queda 
to say there's such and such a thing left. If you want to say that I have something left or I don't have something left, we have to say that whatever it is remains to me. Remains to me. That's the way it's going to work because we're we're talking about queda being it remains. So to say I have something left, we say me queda, me queda, me queda, meaning it remains to me, or I have something left, me queda. So how would you say I have a lot left? I've got a lot left. Just three words. What would that be? I've got a lot left. Me queda mucho. Me queda mucho. How would you say, I've got a lot of wine left. I have a lot of wine left. What would that be? Me queda mucho vino. Me queda mucho vino. How would you say, I don't have much money left. I don't have much money left. What would that be? And the word for money, think of dinner, dinner money. The word for money is dinero, dinero, D-I-N-E-R-O, dinero. So how would you say, I don't have much money left. I don't have much money left. What would that be? No queda mucho dinero. No queda mucho dinero. I don't have much money left. And just before we continue, I will pause to mention the Pro Spanish Levels 1 to 6 course. This is available for download from prospanish.co.uk and it takes the complete beginner or near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in nice, quick and easy steps. So that's prospanish.co.uk. Okay, and back to the lesson. So, we left off saying, me queda is I have something left. Or no me queda, I don't have that thing left. How would you say, I have a lot or have much, I have a lot of money left, but I don't have much time left. I have a lot of money left, but I don't have much time left. The word for time is tiempo, tiempo, T-I-E-M-P-O, a bit like tempo, tiempo, time. So I have a lot of money left, but I don't have much time left. What would that be? Me queda mucho dinero, pero no me queda mucho tiempo. Me queda mucho dinero, pero no me queda mucho tiempo. Okay, so let's go right back to the very beginning. And there's a lot left. What was that? There's a lot left. Queda mucho. Queda mucho. There's a lot left. Queda mucho. Now, if we want to say there's a lot left to do, there's a lot left to do, we add por hacer, por hacer. Hacer is to do. The way the structure works in Spanish, they would say there's a lot left for to do. Por is for. So in Spanish, the way it works, there's a lot left for to do. Por hacer. So, how would you say there's a lot left to do? What would that be in Spanish? Queda mucho por hacer. Queda mucho por hacer. There's a lot left to do. How would you say there's not much left to do? There's not much left to do. What would that be? No. Queda mucho por hacer. 
No queda mucho por hacer. And how about if you were going to say, I have a lot left to do. I have a lot left to do. What would that be? Me queda mucho por hacer. Me queda mucho por hacer. So there's a lot left for me, like to me, it remains to me. Me queda mucho por hacer. If we want to say there's a lot left for you to do, then instead of remaining to me, me, it remains to you. Te, 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 instead of me. So how would we say you have a lot left to do? What would that be? Te queda mucho por hacer. Te queda mucho por hacer. How about you don't have much left to do? What would that be? You don't have much left to do. No te queda mucho por hacer. No te queda mucho por hacer. You don't have much left to do. The word for to see in Spanish, to see, is ver. V-E-R. Ver. How would you say, there's a lot left to see? What would that be? There's a lot left to see. So not to me or to you, but just in general, there's a lot left to see. What would that be? Queda mucho por ver. Queda mucho por ver. So it might be on a holiday and there's still a lot left to see of the, of the city. How would you say, I don't have much left to see. I don't have much left to see. What would that be? No me queda mucho por ver. No me queda mucho por ver. So we began by saying that when we talk about there's something left in Spanish, we talk about it remains. Queda. Queda. We said to say there's a lot left. We say queda mucho. There's much left. Queda mucho. We learned that to say there's not much left would be no queda. No queda mucho. There's not much left. No queda mucho. If we're talking about something specific, let's say agua, we can say queda agua. There's water left. If you want to say there's no water left, no queda agua. We saw that to say I have something left, it means that it remains to me. It's left to me. So me queda. Me queda dinero. I have money left. No me queda dinero. I don't have money left. Or we could put much in there. I don't have much money left. No me queda mucho dinero. I don't have much money left. We learnt that we could say, You have something left. So it remains to you. Te queda dinero. You have money left. You have a lot of money left. Te queda mucho dinero. We saw that if we want to say, I have, or there is, a lot to do, to do, in Spanish they say, for to do, in this, in this structure. So, por hacer. So, queda mucho por hacer. There's a lot left to do. No queda mucho por hacer. There's not much left to do. And then obviously we can change that to I have a lot left to do or you have a lot left to do. Te queda, me queda mucho por hacer. And then finally we saw that we can use, we can use instead of hacer, we can say ver to see. 
So there's not much left to see. No queda mucho por hacer. And that concludes today's pro-Spanish lesson. As mentioned before, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, then head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full course.